Now, after a lead is entered into the system, it will be assigned to the most appropriate sales or account manager based on where it came from or the territory where it's located. And the majority of what a sales rep or an account rep is going to do from a lead standpoint is work that lead through the qualification process. Using activities, activities can be phone calls or in-person meetings, that salesperson will determine if there is interest on the end of the lead in the products or services the organization provides. Or perhaps the rep could be doing specific research about the lead, maybe using tools like the internet or social media, LinkedIn, to help determine the viability of the lead from an organizational standpoint, to answer your questions such as, you know, who are the stakeholders who have interest in the project? Uh, who are the potential competitors who are also speaking or may be speaking with the lead? And also to find out about the organization a little bit, uh, what's the annual revenue, what's the organization's position in the industry. Now, when I click on the lead entity, the initial view that I'm going to be presented with is going to be the My Open Leads view. And that's going to show me just the leads that are assigned to me. Microsoft Dynamics provides multiple views that show lead data, and each one is pre-filtered to show lead data in a different way. And you can see the different views here, and there's an all leads view that will show all leads owned by uh, different owners and different statuses, uh, campaign leads, leads associated to a specific campaign, leads open last week or this week. Uh, so there's going to be a number of different views to help you focus on and to find specifically what it is you're looking for. Now, I'm going to go ahead and we'll look at this lead with Robin Counts here, and she's interested in our products. Now, as I am in a lead, there are several key things that can be used to help work through that qualification process. And the first thing is the business process flow you see up here. From a business perspective, it will start with a lead and then move into things like opportunities, quotes, orders, and invoices. And as I am in the lead area, I can determine additional information that would help me work through items. If the lead is associated with an existing customer, now typically, depending on the organization, a lead is probably going to be new business, somebody you've never worked with in the past. However, there are some organizations that use leads associated with existing customers. And if so, I would have the capability to associate this lead with either an existing contact or an existing account. The other thing I have down here is the timeline. These are activities or items that are related to this individual lead. For example, if I want to call this customer, I might track that information inside the timeline as an activity. I can create a phone call activity and we'll go ahead and create this and we'll call it initial phone call. It's going to be outgoing to Robin and it's going to be a half hour in duration and I'm going to specify that it's due tomorrow and we'll go ahead and make that for 10 o'clock in the morning and I am going to go ahead and save this and as I do that item will go ahead and post onto my timeline and then I can see from one unified spot anything that may taking place for this or related to this individual lead. Now this not only helps me see things like appointments or phone calls that may happen but it also allows me to interact with other people inside my organization. Now I may not know much about Robin but somebody inside my organization may. And I can check with other people. And we can go ahead and type that in. And we'll add the post. And now anybody who is inside my organization that we be looking at these posts can respond back to this. So this gives you a direct line of communication inside your organization based on things or experiences that other people might have. Now, let's say I did reach out to Robin. I talked about the phone call and I was working with Robin. And as I did, I could identify specific situations. I know that the uh, purchase time frame is going to be this quarter. I know that their estimated budget is $50,000. And I also know that the decision process is going to be one that requires a committee and I'll go ahead and enter those data points in and now they're saved. So this helps me as the person that is working through this lead to make sure that I am not missing anything and that I am capturing all the relevant information that would be required as part of this scenario. Now I'm going to add one more quick activity here 
we will go ahead and add an appointment. And I will say that this is a stakeholder meeting. And we're going to uh, leave it for 4 p.m. That's just, just, just this afternoon for today. And we'll leave it as 30 minutes. And what I'm going to do is I'm just go ahead and um, we'll save this. And I'm going to get an item here in the relationship assistant notifying me and reminding me of anything that is relevant or important in regard to this lead. So now this tells me, hey, don't forget you have a stakeholder meeting today for this particular lead. I could open this item, click on open appointment, and this will give me detailed information about that specific appointment that we have saved here. The other thing I could do is I could click here on email attendees, and I can generate an email to reach out to the attendees, and maybe I can send them an agenda, or make sure that everything's still on port. So this gives us everything we need to manage the entire process of working this lead through the qualification process before we ultimately qualify or disqualify this lead in the application.